Hi guys, Steve here, and I'm going to show you how to summon the bosses. There are three giant obelisks on the island. One green. One red. And one blue. All these will summon different bosses eventually. But at the moment, I just summon one, the Broodmother, which is a big spider. For this demonstration, I'll be using the green obelisk. Fly down to its base and go to the platform. Open up the Tribute Terminal, and mouse over the Boss Summoner. This will tell you everything you need to collect. By far the hardest items to get are all the artifacts. These are located in caves scattered around the island. It takes a while to show you where all of them are and how to get all the artifacts, so I've created a video here to show you how to do that. The rest of the items are pretty easy. You get the talons by killing Argent Birds. If your dino's auto loot's on, the talons will automatically go into its inventory. Then just drag them over to yours so you don't drop them by accident. You get the Megalodon teeth from killing sharks. Drag those over as well. The vertebra you get from Brontos. That will be enough. And finally the Tyrannosaurus arms from the T-Rex. These don't seem to auto collect at the moment, so you might have to drop down and collect the arms from the body. Then when you've got everything, you go back to the obelisk. I've retrieved the artifacts and I'm going to fight a boss with this high level T-Rex. It doesn't have that much health, but I've leveled up its damage, so it should be able to do the job. Now go to the tribute terminal and drag over all the items you've collected. As you fulfill the items it needs, the checklist will start going green. Then, when you're ready to fight, select the summon item, then click summon with tribute. This will spawn the boss after a few seconds. And there she is. So quickly get back to your dinosaur. This one will spawn lots of spiders. Now you've seen my T-Rex stats, so I'm going to play the entire battle so you can judge what you'll need to bring to kill the boss. This will take a lot longer to kill than a normal dinosaur.
The visual feedback of your attacking it isn't that good. The only way I know I'm doing damage is blood starting to appear on its legs. You'll get a good amount of chitin from all the smaller spiders it spawns. It might not look like you're doing that much damage, but keep at it and you'll slowly wear it down. Here I tried to get behind her, but she just turns on the spot. must have a hell of a lot of health. Oh, I thought I killed it then, but I just leveled up from killing the smaller spiders. My health's gone down a bit. Finally, that took a long time. When you kill it, you get a broodmother's information added to your survivor's profile. Its body vanished a bit quick. As a reward for killing a boss, you get its head as a trophy that you can put on a wall. And also a spider banner flag that you can put in your base and show that you're a badass. Let's go back to my base and I'll show you those now. Okay, this is what the banner looks like. That shows that your tribe is able to kill the broodmother. And this is what the head looks like mounted. That looks pretty good. I like stuff like that, mounting trophies on the wall. I think the last time I've seen that was EverQuest 2. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching, and if this has been helpful, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the links of other helpful videos at the end, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.